Welcome back, guys. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. I want to invite you guys to please subscribe to the channel. Please help me out by subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free 99, free 99 for you guys. And you'll get a lot of information that's worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in your endeavors to do whatever you do with the information that I share with you. So in exchange, all I ask is that you subscribe and also ask that you actually check out the link in the, I mean check out the description where I do pay homage or do give props to those who have subscribed to me. I honor you guys by memorializing you or immortalizing you by putting you in the um, description of all my videos so that you guys get the recognition that you deserve as subscribers and supporters of the channel. That being said, let's get into this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make silhouettes, SVG silhouettes, so that you can sell them on sites like Etsy um, as SVG files. So I'm going to show you guys how to make money um, using Inkscape to make SVG files of silhouettes of people, animals, different things that you can then upload to AC and make a few dollars off of. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make a few bucks, easy bucks. Um, I mean, this alone should give me a thousand subscribers, but we'll see who's honorable enough to step up to the plate. Let's get into the video. So to start, what I'm going to do is I found an image to use as an example in this video. I'm not going to tell you guys to use these examples, but you, I mean, it, this is so simple. All you need to do is, you don't need to steal anybody's images or anything. I'm just using an image offline just as an example. But you guys can easily get your cell phone camera. This doesn't take high quality photos to do what I'm about to show you. This is very simple. You have kids, you know what I'm saying? They play around. You can do this with anybody. If you have a pet, you can do this. Um, you can just take your cell phone camera and do a pose, a, 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 um, exercise pose or some kind of dance or happy pose or something and just snap a shot of it and then upload it and you can use your own images to do this. And this way you can get the custom images and you can actually build portfolios based off of different um, types of different genres of things. Like you can have yoga, you can do several yoga poses, you can have weightlifting, you can grab weights and do certain weightlifting pro, uh, poses. You can, if you like a certain sport and you have certain equipment around, you can do these type of things and incorporate those things. But let me show you guys how to make the silhouette very easy. And you can duplicate this thousands of times because there's endless amounts of poses and places and people, things, and you can do this and make a good deal of money if you stick with it and do lots of them. Because the key to making money on places like Etsy and eBay and things like that, it's not so much as it is what you're selling, but it's how much you're selling. And I'm not saying like how much is how many, but I mean how many different things. Every time you make a listing on, let's say you're doing this for Etsy. Every time you make a, listen, a listing on Etsy, what you're doing is each listing is representative of a salesperson. So if you have one pose, you have one listing out there, you have one set, one representative out working for you, selling for you. That person can only do what one person does. But if you have 10 listings, 10 different poses, 10 different things you've uploaded, each listing is a representative of your business or your company or you or your brand. So that's 10 people as opposed to one or 10 representatives of your brand out there. If you have 100 listings, that's 100 representatives working for you. It's like having a call center for yourself or a sales team that goes out there and shows what you have to offer. And the more you do that by the, the law of numbers or just going with no, with numbers, you'll end up making sales because this one pose you may do may not appeal to all people who like yoga. 
maybe one of every hundred may like this. But when you have different poses, then you reach a better, a, a, a larger audience. But let me get started before I get too far into that. That's for another video, the actual sales side of it. So what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to click on the Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. And we're just going to draw around the shape of this woman. And to get a lot of detail, which we don't really need a lot, but we'll get into a lot of detail, we're going to hold control and then scroll up on the mouse. And then we're just going to get in tight and then select as much of her as we can select. I'm just going to keep clicking going to get all of that hair. This is just a example. And I'm not going to get real detailed because in silhouettes you really don't need to be very detailed in what you're doing. You just need to show a good representation of what the image is trying to show and that's plenty. And you guys will see when I'm done what I mean about not needing to get too detailed. As long as you're zoomed in a good deal when you're doing this, then the details will be there even though it doesn't appear that I'm purposely getting all the detail in it'll it'll show up enough for it to be appropriate And this is, guys, this is one of the simplest things you can do to uh, to build up an Etsy uh, store or eBay store. And there's different things you can do with these silhouettes as far as making money with them and I'm, 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 I'm not giving away all my information because it in order for me to give away all of what I know and what I do with these things I have to see some kind of gratitude and I judge this gratitude at this moment I'm judging gratitude by the amount of subscribers I get the people that subscribe, I'm, I don't give away all of my knowledge. And I don't mind giving it away, but I do mind when I'm in need of help and then there's nobody to help me. And the help that I need is as simple as subscribers. I want to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the month of February of 2020. So if you guys can help me to do that, then I'll give out much more information when it comes to making money with these things. But it has to be worthwhile for me and I'm not asking you guys for any money I'm just asking you to subscribe if you guys could even um, ask for other people 
that you know to subscribe to my channel that will work great so at this point I have this image and I want to you're going to while it's selected you're going to collect this kick click this arrow the select arrow hold shift and then click on the image as well so the image as well as the uh, shape that you've drawn around the person that you want the silhouette of you um, you're just going to um, select the two of those and to get this person to get this out of there you guys really I'm sorry let me stop real fast let me backtrack a little bit guys so actually what I want to do is just select the person that's there and then all you have to do is for this for the sake of this we're going to just make her a different some different color so now that we have this the shape the outline selected I'm just gonna click on it and I'll just click just the green and now we have the outline of this person and this is your silhouette but there's another part to um, to the outline that's no that's not being shown so to see that you can either drop this to the background to behind this image so that you can see it by going up to the top here and then click here where it says lower selection step down and you click that and it'll it'll actually move um, move her to the background so actually that the green that we just created is actually now placed behind this um, the, the actual original picture but I'm gonna lift lift that back up because there's an easier way to do this and we're going to just the outline is still black and if you go down here you see where it says stroke that's your stroke that black line is your stroke and then the field line is the color so we have that color green so we can keep the outline of her um, so that it's visible what we're doing and then we're going to um, just hit this X for none and it takes the actual feel color away but if you can see the outline is still here she's still outlined so what I want to do is this part here in between her arms if you mess up guys just hit control Z and it'll take you back a step every time you hit control Z it'll take you back a step um, I want to get this part between her arms I want to remove that as well so what I'm going to do now is go with the bezier tool again and then we're just going to simply trace the outline of her inner arms. It's real simple, nothing special, nothing super detailed. Just few strokes and now we have that as well at this point since the other one was green we'll just make this one we'll, we'll just make this one white and that removed the background as you guys can see from that point and um Next, we'll just click on the outline of the person we drew. And now that that outline is selected, again, we can just make that, we'll just make it green again just for the sake of it. And as you can see, if I'll just click on the image, and we'll just delete the image because we don't need it anymore. And now we have the silhouette of our person. And to make this contrast to a silhouette, you're just going to click on that, and then instead of it being green, we'll just make it black and bow there you have it guys is that simple here you have still this part of the image which is here so what we want to do is we want to click on this image and click on our silhouette and then we're going to hit control and then the negative button on the number pad and what that did was that removed the um, shape that we made from here the white shape with the black outline that removed that so that that is no longer 
a part of this image at all. So to see that, we'll just do some. Let's put this black line here. Uh, let's actually let's make it a different color so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, if you take this image, this is on the top. We'll drop it down a little bit, one step, and it should pass. See how it passes right behind the silhouette. You don't see the. Gr let's change this a different color. It allows you to see it, what I'm talking about a little bit better. So she's green, and I'll take this, and notice how the this light blue color does not mix in with the green. That's be because this image has been removed, so all you have is what you see here. There's no background, and having this pass through, you can see the color in between the line. That was, we removed that out. And guys, that's, uh, that's, that's it. That's basically it, so I'm just gonna delete this. So we just click on the, the silhou click on the silhouette and just turn it black, and you can just save this now as an SVG. Just save this as a as a uh, SVG file, and you're 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 done, guys. This this is it's it's that simple. And when you upload it to Etsy, you this since it's an SVG, it can be enlarged or shrunk to any size without losing any of the details you see how it doesn't matter how big or small i make this the details are still there and if you guys want less lines you can go in and take your time and and outline it perfectly i didn't want to because of the video time i just wanted to get you guys an image of what we're doing or an example of what we're doing but guys, that's it. This is how to use uh, Inkscape to make silhouettes, um, to sell uh, silhouette SVG files to sell on Etsy. You guys can make a good deal of money if you know what you're doing with these things. It's a simple thing, but you have to understand what you're doing with it, and it can be turned into a basically set it and forget it business it can be turned into what people called um, the term guys is um, passive income it could be a very profitable passive income stream especially if you are if you stick with it but I mean I wish I would tell you guys more about that and how to do that but I, I wouldn't give out any of the information like that until I'm at at a minimum of a thousand subscribers I have to do I'm asking for simple things like subscribers and I'm willing to give information that can make you guys I mean p passive income for as long as you have these things out there some it depends on how hard you work it could go from simple dollars a day to thousands of dollars a day but it's it depends on how you work but the information that I give you can easily land you that. So, I mean, that's at least worth the subscription. If you guys are really um, truly into that type of thing, if you really get, want to make money doing these types of things. But I put no pressure on you guys, and I don't expect anything from you, so don't expect anything from me. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, guys, see you on the next video. Um, Keep watching the videos and subscribe and keep supporting. Leave any comments you have, any questions you have in the comment sections. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one.